Well, hello again, everyone. 10 p.m. update here on Hurricane Milton. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, there has been a little bit of a weakening trend. It's still a Category 5 storm, though, so it really doesn't matter a whole lot. Pressure, though, has gone up this evening, and the wind speeds have pulled back just a little bit. The inner core of the storm, uh, what we call the eye of the storm, undergoing a little bit of reorganization, and that kind of disrupts the strengthening process and is why uh, we have seen a little bit of weakening. Uh, as we've been talking about, though, as this approaches the coast of Florida, there's also going to be some other things in play that are not going to be real conducive for this maintaining its current intensity. So the latest forecast update still shows that this will back off, but still remain a major hurricane at landfall. Let's show you the latest track here from the National Hurricane Center. And even though the winds may back down a little bit between now and tomorrow, it's still going to be that Category 5 status through at least the end of the afternoon on Tuesday. It does continue a track here off to the northeast and eventually a little bit more of a turn to the north, which will take it into the west coast of Florida. Looks like sometime Wednesday evening into Wednesday night. Still, the forecast has it a Category 3 storm, 100 25 mile per hour sustained winds just off the west coast of Florida. Keep in mind, Cat 4 status is 130, so it's still going to be very close to that. This is going to have devastating impacts, particularly in, term, in terms of the storm surge, which is that rise of the ocean water above normal tidal levels here. Uh, and even though the storm may be a little bit weaker when it moves inland, that's really not going to impact that very much whatsoever. This likely maintains itself as a hurricane all the way across the Florida Peninsula emerging off the coast here, maybe near Daytona Beach or down towards uh, the West Palm area, perhaps heading into Thursday morning. And then it does as it moves out to sea into the western Atlantic and away from the U.S. coast will start to lose its tropical characteristics. But again, this is going to be a big impact. Hurricane warnings in effect now Fort Myers to the Tampa area all the way east towards Orlando as they are expecting not just the storm surge, but the wind as well. Earlier this evening, 7 o'clock update, the minimum pressure in Milton had dropped to 897 millibars. That makes it the second most intense storm on record to move through the Gulf of Mexico. But again, it may be difficult just based on the changes that we are seeing right now and the expected changes in the overall atmospheric setup for it to get back 